Hey y'all, welcome back to All The Power Ministries. This is a ministry that is dedicated to helping you grow in your intimacy with Abba, to be launched and activated into your authority that Jesus Christ has given you and launched into your power and purpose. Today, I have a very exciting prophetic word for you. We are going to be reading from Isaiah chapter 45, discussing King Cyrus and how just like King Cyrus, you have been not only anointed to rebuild in this hour, but also God is making a way for you. So if the Holy Spirit is leading you to continue listening to this message and drawing you in, then keep on listening because we are going to get into it. If you are new here, welcome. We love, love, love that you are here. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We post videos every single day, Saturday through Sunday. Always a very Rama and on time word, only released from the Holy Spirit. So yeah, make sure to subscribe and welcome to our channel. Okay, so let's get into today's word. We are going to be talking about, um, what are we talking about? We're going to be talking about King Cyrus and how he was anointed to rebuild. And I'm going to break this down for a couple of different things that the Lord has shown me that he is doing right now in this season. And so let's go ahead and go to our scripture reference for today, which is Isaiah 45. We are going to start in verse one and it says, this is what the Lord says to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I take hold of, to subdue nations before him and strip kings of their armor to open doors before him so that gates will not be shut. I will go before you, says the Lord, and I will level the mountains. I will break down the gates of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I will give you hidden treasures. Oh, I can feel the Holy Spirit. Riches stored in secret places that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who summons you by name. Let's get into this word. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray that you breathe on this message, that you help me to articulate it and deliver it to your people just the way that you gave it to me. I thank you that even as I read it again, you were speaking even more revelation to me. So I just pray um, for everyone's eyes to be open and their ears to hear what the Spirit of God is saying in this moment. Let our hearts be encouraged and let the eyes of our understanding be enlightened during this time together. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so you have been anointed to rebuild. A couple of weeks or about a month or so ago, I actually posted a video on my channel. It's entitled, You Have Been Anointed to Rebuild. So I highly recommend, I'll go ahead and pin it in the comment section, but I highly recommend that you go back and watch that video because this is going to kind of build upon that, okay? And so we know that in this hour, God is anointing his children. We are living in the days of Joel chapter two, where he's pouring out his spirit on all sons and daughters like never before. We are in the end time and God is doing a new thing on the earth and the reason why he is anointing his children he's anointing his pioneers his forerunners those who are walking and living in daily relationship to him who have surrendered and and given their lives who live as living sacrifices to the Lord the reason why he is elevating these types of people which if you're watching this video more than likely you but you'll know if this message is for you I just want to say that <laughs> these messages are not for everybody the prophetic words that I release are are not for everybody. If this message is for you, then you know that God is anointing, has anointed these types of his children in this hour for the rebuilding of his body, for the harvest of souls that are coming into the kingdom of God to prepare the way for Yeshua HaMashiach. Oh my gosh, Jesus is coming back, you guys. He is coming back. He's and he there are souls that you are attached to that you are called to reach and to share the gospel, the good news with and lead them to salvation. Lead them through healing and deliverance and help them to get activated and step into their purpose and assignment so they can go out and reach the souls that they are called to to reach. And so what we are seeing right now is this activation and launching of God's people. You have been anointed to rebuild. Build. So go and watch that video, but it goes hand in hand. And so I want you to know that on 10, 12, October 12th, 2023, the Lord gave me a confirmation that his anointing was poured out, that there was another wave of glory that hit the body of Christ and that our gifts, our anointings have elevated and God is 
elevating you in this season to step into your kingdom assignment, to step into the plans and the purposes that he has for you. And so not, I was going to say ironically, but I would say prophetically because our God does nothing by accident. On 10, 13, which was the very next day, is the exact day all those years previously where King Cyrus right here in Isaiah 45 actually took received this anointing and conquered Babylon okay so now we are on this this cusp here right because God is saying this is what I did in that day and this is what I'm doing now okay but this time this is for the rebuilding of my bot of my church that has been ruined by the spirit of religion that has been watered down that has been defaced that power has been stripped out from that has become a ted talk and a concert no i am pouring out my glory and i am restoring my bride so that she can go forth and prepare the way for my arrival and so i don't know about you but i am so fired up for this word because i feel it so strong in my spirit so there's a couple of things that i want to talk to you about the first thing is that you have been anointed okay the lord showed me like i said on um october 12th that he poured out a level of oil and anointing on his people i believe i released a word on that day so you can go back and watch it i also um in my october prophetic word you can see the specific dates that the lord gave me and what he was doing around each date always take this stuff back to the holy spirit and have him confirm it for you um but this is the word that he gave to me i'm just simply sharing i'm not saying this is an absolute across the board um take it to the holy spirit and have him minister to you regarding your specific situation but i do know that god has anointed many of his children in this hour to um to be launched into their kingdom assignments so yes so this is also prophetically the same time that king cyrus was anointed all right and so i want you to realize that in isaiah 45 verse 1 it says this is what the lord says to his anointed so king cyrus was anointed to rebuild you are being anointed to rebuild okay so the first thing that i want to point out is the the lord goes on to say that he's going to subdue subdue nations before him strip kings of their armor to open doors before him now many of you know that we just entered into the hebrew calendar year of 5784 four represents the dalit which is the door we know that this is the year of open doors also closed doors but i find it so um amazing that even here god is saying that i am beginning to open these doors for you to rebuild many of you have ministries on your heart many of you have gifts and callings and businesses kingdom businesses at the and kingdom schools and in mission mission work that the lord has called you to do but you haven't had the resources you haven't had the the connections you haven't had the time you haven't been able to do it and i am here to tell you that this is this season that god is anointing you to complete the work that he he created you for and that he gave you the desires to do okay now is the time to step in and so um he says he's going to subdue nations strip kings of their armors open doors before him so that no gates will be shut the lord says i will go before you okay and he starts going into um all these things that he's going to do but really quick the lord is prompting me to go to joshua chapter 10 he actually led me here this morning joshua chapter chapter 10 um it's entitled the sun stands still and it's all about when the israelites entered into the promised land which we have just crossed over into the promised land for many of god's children you've crossed over into your promised land go back and check my previous videos that i've posted over the last uh week or so um, but you've entered into your promised land and uh what happens is um there was giants in the land there was enemies in the land and so the israelites still had to go through and uh, and defeat these these enemies chapter 10 verse 9 and an all night march from gilgal joshua took them by surprise the lord threw them into confusion before israel so joshua and the israelites defeated them completely at gibeon Israel pursued them along the road going up to Beth Horon and cut them down all the way to blah 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 these places that I cannot pronounce as they fled before Israel so basically this is a picture of God um, vindicating Israel it literally says he threw the enemy into confusion verse 11 as they fled before Israel um, the Lord hurled down large hailstones before them. More of them died, okay? Uh, uh, verse 12, on the day the Lord gave them the Amorites over to Israel, Joshua said to the 
uh, to the Lord in the presence of Israel. Sun stand still, still over Gibeon. Okay, so, and then it says verse 13, the sun stood still and the moon stopped till the nation avenged itself on its enemies. I am here to tell you, if you go down in verse 16, it says, now the five kings had fled and hidden in the cave. Joshua was told that the five kings had been found hiding in the cave. He said, roll large rocks up the mouth of the cave and post some of them to guard it, but don't stop pursue your enemies attack them from the rear and don't let them reach the cities for the lord your god has given them into your hand this is the season that the lord is giving your enemies into your hand he is saying that i am giving you the victory i am sending justice and vindication on your behalf i just released a video earlier this week entitled your season of vindication is here this goes along with that and this is what we are seeing that he did for king cyrus in this time literally god caused the sun and the and the moon to stand still he caused the time to stop so that israel could avenge their enemies he literally rained down hail so that is israel could pursue and move forward and receive the victory god is going to do whatever necessary in your life to close every legal right and door that the enemy has to your life and he is vindicating you in this season Verse two of Isaiah 45 says, I will go before you. I will level the mountains. I will break down the gates of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places so that you may know that I am your God. Okay, listen, what God is saying is I am making a way. Every mountain that has erected itself against you, I am leveling. He's saying every, um, every gate, every wall, every barrier that is before you, I am bringing down. He is he is bringing down every barrier, every hindrance, everything that has been in your way in previous season is being removed. Now is your time to move forward in obedience and step forward. The enemy might try and bring illusions of barriers, but he is a liar. And know in this hour that God has given the given your enemies over to your hands and you will overcome in this season. It is time for you to step into your kingdom assignment. It is time for you to step forward in what God has called you to do. He is preparing the way. He is sending your destiny helpers he is even we are in the time of the wealth transfer we are in the time where god is opening the windows of heaven and pouring out the storehouse of his bounties according to um deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12 okay so go back and read that go back and read the flood is coming go back and read about all my videos on the wealth transfer this is literally where that comes from i will give you hidden treasures riches stored in secret places many of you need the finances to fund what god is doing for you in this season I I know my husband and I have visions and dreams that the Lord has given us for our ministry and we have been held back because we have not had the provision. The provision is here. In, in this season, I want you to know that your season of elevation, your season of being anointed to go forward in the work that Jesus has called you to do is now. And I love that God always confirms his word because this is the exact same time of year that King Cyrus was anointed to rebuild and you are being anointed to rebuild in this hour. It is time for you to go forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is, this is your season of vindication. Go back and watch that video. I just posted it this week. Justice and rewards are being rendered. Your harvest. This is you stepping into your inheritance. Oh, all the words that I released from this week go together so please go and check all of those out i want you if you come into agreement with this word i want you to comment down below i am stepping into my kingdom assignment i am stepping into my kingdom assignment what has god called you to do what are the desires that god has placed on your heart he is making a way for you to step into them he is making a way for you to step into them he is going through and leveling every mountain tearing down every barrier giving you the provision, the resources, the time, the skill. If you don't have the skill, he's going to open up doors for you to go to school or training or whatever. I just two weeks ago started training for ministry. You guys, he is doing it. It came out of nowhere. Uh, the provision for it came out of nowhere. God has, oh, now that I'm even thinking about it, I'm just like in awe because God told me he was going to do it. He's telling you now, let my life be a testimony.
Let my life be a testimony. An opportunity for me to go to inner healing and deliverance training came out of nowhere and the provision to do it came out of nowhere and God just completely just threw it in my path and he is faithful. He will do the same for you. Many of you, let me know in the comments if you have been experiencing these same types of testimonies. Know that this is your season. Go forward. I am here to be your cheerleader. Go forward with what God has called you to do. He is making a way. He has your back. He has anointed you to do it. Arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of God is upon you. The nations will be drawn to your light. The harvest of souls will come in because of the glory of God on your life. You're going to move forward in miracles, signs, and wonders. We are living in the open heavens. 1017 is the day that the Lord told me the heavens are open. It is the same day prophetically that the, the heavens were open. Go read Genesis chapter 7 verse 11 for Noah when the flood came. Okay, it is the same day. We are living in prophetic times. If you cannot tell by everything going on in the world, we are living in prophetic times. And so for such a time as this, you are being called, you are being commissioned, you commissioned, you are being chosen. Go forth, go forth. Do not fear for the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you and he is empowering you. He has anointed you. Okay, I'm being led to Isaiah 61. The spirit of the Lord um, is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim news to the to good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the wounds of the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, to release of the darkness from the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. He goes on to say all these things that we have been anointed to do. Verse four, they will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore places long devastated and renew this the ruined cities that have been of devastated for generations. You guys, Listen, listen, this is what God is saying. It says you will feed on the wealth of nations and in their riches you will boast. He goes on to say you're receiving a double portion. He goes on to say that you're receiving your inheritance. He goes on to say that he's a God of justice and that he's rewarding his people. Come on, you guys. This is what is happening in this season. I am so, so excited for this. Sorry, I'm getting phone calls and text messages. The devil's a whole liar. <laughs> so 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 excited for this i want to pray over you people of god holy spirit we just thank you abba we thank you that you have anointed your child to rebuild i just pray a boldness would come over your son and daughter right now for them to move forward i pray that they would take this message to you holy spirit and you would show them their next step and that they would move forward in obedience lord i pray that according to isaiah 45 that you will level every mountain you will uh, bring down every barrier, everything. You will uh, avenge our enemies. You will bring us justice and vindication, Lord. I thank you, Father, that you are making a way in the wilderness according to Isaiah 43. I thank you, Lord, that according to Joel chapter 2 as well, that you are restoring the years that the locusts have swarmed, that you are redeeming your people, even according to Isaiah 62, Lord. Where it says, um, where is it? Hallelujah. It says, For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain quiet till their vindication shines out like the dawn. I thank you, Lord, that our salvation is a blazing torch, that our vindication is here. I thank you, Lord, that we are receiving the crown of splendor in this hour. So, Holy Spirit, we say, we give you our yes. Come on, just give the Lord your yes. If you give the Lord your yes, I want you to type in the comments, Lord, I give you my yes. That is how you can come into agreement with this word. Lord, I give you my yes. Use my life. Here I am. I say yes to the call. I am anointed to rebuild and I will move forward in faith knowing that my father has anointed me to do the work of his hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you all so, so much. If you feel led to partner with this word, one way that you can partner with this word is by sowing into this word. This is something that I do as well. When I hear a word and the Holy Spirit's all over it and it bears witness with my soul, I ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what do you want me to sow into this word? Sometimes it's it's a it's a, a amount of a scripture. Like if it's um uh, Joel 2, also 222, $2.22 or $22.22, whatever it is, whatever the Lord is leading you to do, I encourage you to do that. Take that to the Holy Spirit. If you don't feel led to give, please do not give, okay? This is not that type of place, but I just want to give the people of God the opportunity to partake of God's 
kingdom economy because the way that God's economy works is seed time and harvest, meaning you sow a seed to reap the harvest. And so hallelujah, all of our links to give are below. If you are even considering just becoming a ministry partner, just know that you are helping to do the work of God on this earth. You are helping to pour into our kingdom assignment that the Lord has called us to do that I'm so grateful to do. So we appreciate every seed. I'm sorry I'm getting emotional because... Sorry, you guys. The Lord has opened doors for us to step into things that I've dreamed about for all of my life. And so when you partner with us, you help make that possible. Even if it's just in prayer or even just supporting this channel, just know that I appreciate you so much and I'm so thankful. And we are going to do the work that our Abba has called us to do in this ministry. So Ah, oh, thank you, Lord. Um, also, if you are a female, come over and join me in my monthly mentorship community called Powerhouse Babes. We are currently diving deep into inner healing and deliverance and growing in intimacy with the Lord. So if those are things that you are interested in, then I highly recommend that you come and join us. The link is in the description. And as always, give this video a thumbs up, share it with someone who needs to, to, to hear this. Please encourage other people with this word. This word needs to go forward. You know, someone who is just talking to you about their dreams and what God placed on their heart, share this video with them. They need to hear it. They need to, to be encouraged to move forward and to know that God has anointed them in this season to rebuild and to move forward. And so I love you all so, so much. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I thank everyone for your support and your constant comments and just uh, why am I so emotional I'm just so overwhelmed by the goodness of God he's so faithful he's so faithful this is a part of um something the Lord told me to do in obedience was start this channel and I never imagined that in such a short period of time the fruit of it and so thank you Lord that you've even anointed this channel for building up and equipping your children to step into what you've called them to do so that is what we are here for all the power ministries exist to equip other believers and disciples to step into their power their purpose and so you have a purpose for the return of our Messiah you have a purpose for the lost souls who are who are going through it in this time we are in a t we are in the end times and God's wrath is being poured out on this earth if you can't tell and there are many who are perishing without knowing Jesus and it's up to us to move forward in our purpose so that we can win these lost souls for us to shine our light arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is upon you Go and do the work that Jesus told you to do. He's making a way in this season. All right, I'm going to go before I just cry all over the place. But I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you on the next one. God bless you.